Today I'm gonna build a room entirely out of Lego, with Lego walls, a Lego floor, and even Lego furniture, which means I'm gonna need a lot of pieces. So here's my plan. First, we construct a 10 by 10 frame out of wood so the Lego walls will have something to hold them up. Next, we lay down base plates and build up four Lego wall panels out of white bricks on the inside of the frame to create our Lego room. And then all we have to do is fill it up with Lego furniture and we can test it out. Also, this video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on them later. First, we have to figure out how many pieces we're gonna need because I think this is going to be like my largest creation ever. <laughs> my plan is to build a bunch of one by one squares out of Lego bricks. So this is like roughly one foot across here. So I just gotta build this up, then count the pieces, and then I can calculate roughly how much it's gonna cost just to build the walls. All right, for one wall, 22,000 Lego bricks. So I guess we're buying 80,000. And while we're waiting on parts to arrive, we can start building the frame for the room. Go, we got the first wall. Three more to go. Ten feet that way and ten feet that way. And then our one foot sections of Lego will just go in here all the way across. The bricks from overseas just shipped. We gotta finish getting this room up first. Now we just gotta tack these together. Now that we finished the frame, we can go pick up the bricks that just got delivered all the way from Europe. <laughs> these are the parts we're gonna use. It's about 80,000 so many. As you can see, these are all boxes full of Lego. And each one of these has about 600 bricks in it. As you can see, we also have the frame complete so we can start working on the inside. And the first step to actually building this as a Lego room is to lay down base plates all around the floor. That way we can actually build up the walls on top. Now if we grab some red 2x4s, so I can see them and don't step on them, I can start locking these together so that they're all square. This is one stud, and then if you just go out, that's the Lego room. So now that we've got the base plates laid out around the outside, the next step is to build the walls. So we just gotta sort out the bricks into bins, and then we can start building. So this here is our prototype panel, and as you can see it has tiles and a few jumper plates on top so we can attach the next one, and it also has some Technic bricks so we can attach it to the wall. But let me build up another one out of just white so you can see how that's gonna work. We'll add our two by two there, and then nine more back across. And then we just keep building it up and put the four Technic bricks at the four spots on the blueprints. And once we have it built up this high, which is 31 layers, we add one layer of plates, then we throw a jumper plate on each end, and then we just tile this in here. And there we have a one foot by one foot panel. And I can show you how we're actually gonna attach this. So if we put it up against the studs, you can see it will hit both studs. And all we're gonna do is put a tiny little perfect size screw inside of that Technic brick. And as you can see, that's flush in there. And then we just take our secret piece to cover it up and just push it in. And you can't even tell it's screwed in there. And then if we wanna take one out and like do a custom thing with our wall, all we gotta do, pop out those four pieces, unscrew the single panel, and pop it out from the other side. So just like Legos, it's a modular building system. And we're gonna do that on all of these walls. And that took around 10 minutes to build. So times 180, we're roughly gonna be here forever. <laughs> I'm gonna see how many people I can get on this project because it is so big. <laughs> This here, as you can see, is the corner piece, and it's all one chunk. And basically, this one will just sit right in the corner. And there's like 12 different types of these, and they all have different dimensions. There's like half panels, vertical half panels, half corners. I'm also developing my jig here, so as you can see, I got this little Lego ruler on this side that's gonna tell me how high I'm building. And this one takes just about double the time as a regular one. So I'm just building this up and actually overlapping all the bricks. In the designs, you can see everything overlaps by two. My fingers are literally killing me. And now, our panel is done. We need to make 26 of the half panels for the top, and then we have a ton of these basic panels all over here. This is Kanda. This is my Hi. sister. So what are we doing? Are you playing copyright music? Kanda. <laughs> my first time building Legos. <laughs> this is her first day. I think she's done like five. Shut up, there's like eight there. Good job, Kanda. Christian, what are we doing? Uh, fixing my mistake, because I like built a ton of them wrong. So these ones, I built too wide, and then these ones are the ones that I've fixed. So I'm still trying to fix it. 
We are making a lot of progress though. You guys are doing great. We've been working on building these for three days and so far we have just over 120. Kanda wanted to race to see who can make a panel the fastest. Just break it now. I hope not, I just got them done this morning. All you gotta do is snap it down. I have snapped it down. Why is it so greasy? Quit eating potato chips. Nice, dude. 13 minutes and 47 seconds. Really? I don't know. <laughs> it was long. <laughs> All right, the final piece, and boom. That is 238 panels. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. And now we can finish putting together the walls for the room. We already have 12 plates installed. I don't know why, but this totally reminds me of Portal. <laughs> We got a lot more panels to go, so I'm just gonna keep putting them on the walls and grow it out from this corner. And while I'm doing that, I can tell you about this video sponsor, Shopify, which is an all-in-one commerce platform that lets you sell your products online and in person, giving you all the tools and resources you need to create an online storefront really easily. So now I have the first layer all the way around the Lego room done, and this is where I left a little hole for the outlet in case I need to access power. They basically make it super easy for longtime business owners and up and coming entrepreneurs to sell stuff. And I've actually used Shopify before to sell these little Ublot trash dummies, and it went really well. We sold out of them in like a day, it went super smoothly. And with Shopify's starter plan only costing $5 a month, giving you a basic store with all the core features to get up and running, you can get started selling right now. Like check it out, without any real experience, I was able to set up the store that sells Lego wall panels, $100. Now, I'm not really selling these, but if I was, that's how long it would take me to set it up. And I could sell these on my social media platforms and even in person using the Shopify POS app. My hand's been like this for an hour. The nice thing about this entire room is that it's basically modular, so anything I want to replace, I can just pop out a couple panels, add like a TV or a shelf or whatever. And we're gonna be adding a bunch of cool stuff in this video, like furniture, a window, and art and stuff. It's gonna be super cool. Shopify is empowering millions of entrepreneurs around the world. So if you wanna get started on your store today, you can visit shopify.com slash brickstarter for a free trial of Shopify. It's that simple. Oh, that was a mic dropping. And with this piece here, the Lego walls are done. Check it out, you guys. That was a lot of building, seriously. The last thing you wanna do for these walls is just add a simple window using some Lego plastic pieces to make it actually look like a window. You see, I use lots of Lego plastic glass pieces. And this thing is pretty sturdy, you know. Now we get to build some Lego furniture for the inside of the room. And I wanna build a few different pieces of furniture starting with a Lego desk. So to build a desk, I think first we lay out the top of it. I'm gonna use tan for the color of the top and then we'll make the rest of the desk black. And then we'll grab black bricks and go all the way around the outside to lock these together. So now to actually make this stable, I'm gonna use Technic bricks and lock them together to each other. And on the next layer, it will actually go across like this. So it'll create kind of like a mesh pattern. And then to lock these Technic bricks together, I like to use these little Technic push pins. You just push it in from the outside, so it makes it a whole lot easier. We'll probably need a bunch of these all the way across. So now that I've recertified the exterior, I'm putting on plates, because I think that'll really strengthen it up. Check this out. This is a desktop, like seriously, that's perfect. Now all we gotta do is build a drawer for one side and then the legs, and this will be our desk. So we'll start with plates for the drawer and then we'll just snap it up against the top of the thing. I'm basically going to build the drawer inside of this area that will slide in and out. It's gonna basically be a regular drawer, but it'll have a hidden feature. All right, so now we have the drawer which can slide in out. It has a little stopper right here and here so it doesn't actually like fall out, right? Theoretically, we just snap it down on here. And now we can just build up some legs in the actual room and set this on top of it. And I think for the shape, I'm gonna go with this because it's all made of two by fours and it looks like a square. And all we gotta do is heft this thing up on top of there. Theoretically, it should be all the right measurements. Like that. And that should snap in at several places. And there we go, we have a working Lego desk. And the coolest part about this drawer is when you open it, as you can see, it can hold stuff. But there's also a hidden feature. You see this little bit right here, there's this, and if you push it with your finger now, it pops open the secret compartment. Check it out. And then as soon as you close the drawer, you see, it pushes it back closed, this thing resets, and now, Come on, that's like a really dope feature, right? This looks really great. And now I can even build stuff for the top of it and actually use it as a desk. Next, I wanna build the world's first Lego bed. At least I think it is. Which means we're gonna need a lot of bricks. 
The plan for the bed is to build up a Lego frame using Technic bricks to lock it together, and then build up a bunch of legs under it to make it as sturdy as possible. Cause I wanna be able to actually sleep on this thing. So I may have just had a pretty genius idea. As you can see, I used white base plates all the way down, and I was thinking all I'd have to do is flip over these base plates because there's no studs on this side, which would make it like 10 times more comfortable, and then I just build the Lego bed upside down. Now this does present a couple challenges, but the benefits outweigh the challenges. So I think I'm gonna go with that and just continue doing what I was doing, building this up, then we'll just flip it over to actually create the bed. So I've gone through on the entire first layer and as you can see, put everything in. I even locked in every other one with two Technic bricks. And once we stack these on here, what we'll do is we'll just put pins through and hammer it all down and put them across like that. That should create a nice grid that should hopefully be pretty strong. I say hopefully because I'm still not sure if this is gonna work and I'm getting more worried by the minute that we're gonna run out of parts. But hopefully we won't. So if my fingers weren't tired already, they're definitely gonna be after this. So now I'm adding another layer of bricks so that each one is overlapped by at least two studs. That should make it really, really strong. So now that we have about five layers of this built up, we need to build the Technic beams out of bricks all the way across this way. And for these, instead of using the push pins, I'm gonna use these little black pins so I can assemble them together without having them attached. And now we got all these. And we can snap them on the bottom of the bed and make it stronger. I think so far we're around 5,000 pieces into this build. These are where the legs are gonna go, so I'm putting these brick pillars underneath so that they won't bend the plates. Now that we got the base built up and it's super sturdy, we're gonna put on a bunch of these Lego plates. And we've got a bunch more. Pre-order my new track now on SoundCloud, Riley's Greatest Hits. So this is the top of the leg that I'm going to build. As you can see, it has these two little pathways. So this will intersect with the brick walls that go across on the bottom of the bed. Let's build this up a bit. Okay, so that'll work. And the bed will come up to here because it's five bricks on top of the insert. Now to replicate this 13 more times until we have enough. And this should be pretty strong. With 14 of them, okay, <laughs> it'll be strong. Now that we have the legs and the bed frame built up, we just have to attach them together in place. So here's the thing. The bed frame weighs like 100 pounds and we have to fit it perfectly on top of 14 legs. The problem is there's not enough room in this corner for two guys to just set it on top of the legs. So I have to improvise. The plan is to use a support rig to actually lower the bed down onto the legs. And then I'll have to get under it so it goes down perfectly and position each one so they snap into place. All right, so I got all 14 legs installed and now I'm gonna take these spacers and put them around them. That way we can actually put the bed in place and lift it up straight from there. Now we plug that up and we know exactly where it goes. Oh no. Comment down below if you think I should do giant Lego dominoes. Before I actually put the bed in place, I wanna add one more piece of furniture. So I laid out some 16 by 16 plates here so we can build up a simple nightstand to go next to the bed. But we'll build it out of brown bricks because we're kinda running out of tan. And then I'm just gonna keep building this up about this high and then throw another shelf on. That's basically the same thing. Use some Technic to make it strong. And this should just sit right on there. And since it kind of looks like a chest right now, we need to actually build four legs for the bottom. Another cool feature I wanna have in this room is a fish bowl with a fish that actually moves. So I had this idea. If we build up a little Lego fish, we can actually connect it to this clear lift arm. And then to make it spin, we can use a worm gear setup. So the motor goes in one side like this, and we turn this on and then connect our fish. The worm gear spins just like that. We just need to hide this underneath the fish bowl. Mysterio. Dude, nice. Now, as you can see, we also built a headrest for the bed, and we can put this right behind it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and now we can finally install the bed into place. So now we're gonna lift this up and actually put the legs under. I gotta do this quick or it's gonna come down. <laughs> this one goes right here. I added these markers, but I keep knocking them over, so they're not extremely helpful. Okay. <sighs> and then next. <laughs> this is so sketch, oh my gosh. Oh, that was scary. Now, just give me like an inch. Okay. I can't see. 
So it's very cramped down here. <laughs> my arms are sore, but what I'm doing is just setting these in here because they have to be right, just right. Can you lower it a bit? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. It's... We're almost there. Half of them are in, and the rest of them are being stubborn. Was that it? That's scary. All right, we're down. Now I just gotta wiggle out. Ow, go cramp. Oh gosh, ow. <laughs> I'm literally stuck right now. I can't, I, I like, I will die before I get out of here. I'm almost there. <laughs> okay. Wow, that doesn't look half bad. All right guys, here we go. The room is finally finished. I can't wait to show you. Check it out. <laughs> Almost 100,000 Lego pieces made up this giant Lego room. We got a curtain for the door. I got this cool Lego blanket here. This is official Lego, so it does count. And then I got my little fish bowl. There's a little button on the back right there. And you can see it. the fish actually swims around in it, which is a really cool feature. That's just on a simple little track with the worm gear down there. So he swims around. It's just cool things like this. You can build whatever you want. We got our window right there, as you can see. That goes to outside. We put sets in here. I got the Pac-Man set with the cool feature. That's really fun. I got my Lego car, a little bird, the hidden secret door we put in here. It's stuff like that that makes this Lego room just like super cool. I even did test out popping out one of these wall panels and that worked really well. So I was able to customize it to put the Lego space set here. Literally, I can add whatever I want to it. That's what makes it so cool is it's modular and I can keep the series going and just keep building stuff on my channel and then adding it to the room for the video. Oh, I forgot to show you the best part too. There's Lego slippers by the door for people who don't want to be standing on Legos. So you put those on. You can walk in here on the world mat that is a work in progress still with your Lego slippers. You can sit on the bed. And I did actually lay down on the bed. Full send. Oh. That's a bad sign. I do want to do an overnight in here. It just needs more work before I can sleep on it without feeling like I'm going to die. I'm super happy with how this turned out, you guys. Huge thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out one of these two videos popping up on your screen. Peace out from the Lego room.